Welcome back to yet another amazing video brought to you by Pioneer Passports. And today we have this Oats Pathcross 650L model on display right here. We're gonna go into further details. We're gonna discuss about the performance on this model, do a test drive video, and have some fun with this machine today. Now, if you guys already know about the uh, Jungle Cross side-by-sides or some of the Benchy models on the same style of machine, if you already know about some of the 1000 cc's like the X2's or anything like that, yes, you're right. It's all made by American Notes, brought to you all the way from Alabama. And we are a dealership located in Dallas, Texas. We are very fortunate to have this machine in Dallas, guys, especially in Central Texas, because these machines have been popular in the European market. If you check some of the videos made by um, some of the dealerships in Russia, even in Ukraine, France, they love this machine, guys. They have it street legalized over there, and finally, we are able to get number plates and get this registered in Texas as well. And I am super excited about it. Already sold a couple of the thousand cc's, never had any issues. People loved these models and yep, there's always good reviews on these machines guys. Okay, so let's start on, this, uh, start on the details about this machine. First things first, uh, they make it in both the editions, the L and the S. And there's not much difference in performance. You're not going to notice any kind of um, shortages be between the 650S or the 650L. The L simply stands for the long chassis. So you have those extended frame on the bottom. That way you could have a back seater on this machine as well. So it's a full size seat more of a jump over seat and also has your separated leg rest for both the rider and also for the passenger now the motor itself is roughly about close to 50 horsepower uh, it's a 650 V twin and it's powered by EFI uh, that doesn't require any winterizing any carburetor work or anything like that it's pre-programmed other than that if you check the front end, it's pretty sporty looking, pretty aggressive, and fully loaded. So you have these nice bright lights with halo style of lighting on the side and a pretty bright reflector in the front. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. We'll do that later, I forgot to bring the keys. Now you have a powerful winch. This is roughly about 3,500 pound. And it is more of a nylon or the rope winch. So it's not like a metal winch that, you know, that could go bad easily. And it's ready to pull over about 1,500 pounds with no problems at all. Especially on the 1,000, I've seen a guy doing that for up to 1,800 pounds. And he didn't have any issues, neither on the winch uh, nor on the machine itself. Talking about the tires, you have aggressive tires with a nice grip right here. It's roughly about 26 inches. So if you have checked our videos on any other machines like the 550 or the X-Wolf 
these are pretty nice machines as well we've never had any issues never had any complaints people love them so far but this thing outperforms many machines especially if you're taking it in the mud taking it into higher inclines and this is designed in a way that you can also take it for farm use uh, some regular work or anything like that and since this is street legal this can definitely be used for a form of transportation so if you guys like bikes but don't like to ride them as much especially on two wheels just like me i don't like to ride two wheels uh, <laughs> these are perfect then most of the features are very heavy duty uh, especially because this is designed for both rougher terrains you can take it on any kind of surfaces with no problems so you have a nice liquid cooling um, radiator in the front so this machine is completely liquid cool and you can literally tell the way it's designed the way it's built even the lighting system the way it's constructed man these guys are this guy Oates has done really good job with this machine and you can literally tell the front end is completely covered so there's no way that your mud or anything like that is going to splash through splash towards you then i was talking about the suspension so you have nice heavy duty forks spring coil over that can be adjusted for some extent roughly about a couple of inches down or soften it for some extent followed by two a arms right here and you can literally tell it's independent suspension all the way around definitely the back and also in the front just like most of our 4x4 machines you have a independent hydraulic disc brake on all four wheels or all four tires has pretty powerful motor we already discussed the horsepower on this thing um, it goes pretty fast it's ready to do about good uh, 45 50 but definitely once you take the governor off it does a lot faster because it's a 650 it has enormous amount of power they also make it in thousand cc's uh, we didn't get to make a video on that for this year we'll definitely make it for 2024 and you can literally tell uh, if you check down short these these are like pretty much similar in terms of the way it looks uh, the thousand is definitely slightly more power on that uh, particular one so you're gonna have a lot more torque on that machine but if you're looking for something that's pretty reliable without compromising on your torque without compromising on the power the 650 is the one to go with man even has better specs than some of the 700 cc's in the market not gonna name him because we don't mostly carry those in our store right here at Pioneer Power Sports. And the reason I say that is because you have a speed of around, not speed, but you have a RPM that can reach up to 6,500 and that's in less than five minutes. So 6,500 RPM on that 50 horsepower, it is better than some of the 750s or even 800s that can now only carry up to 5000 or 5500 rpm so definitely a sturdy machine definitely a reliable brand since these come with like a year warranty included uh, american O's has all also distributed different um, service centers and um, similar dealerships to all over the united states and not just that they've also been popular in european market like i was telling you guys earlier and if you check like some of the videos on youtube just in general you're gonna see a lot of people taking it through rough mud uh, they've added like snorkel kits um, skid plate on the bottom to do off-road go through deep water and do different kind of stuff all the way from amazing and mind-blowing all the way to really ridiculous kind of things too like you know going through deep water trying to abuse the machine or anything like that too so this is designed to uh, have any kind of fun that you're looking for and since it's already strong enough you can literally tell it can get, uh, handle any kind of work that you need to do all right so i haven't even gotten into the back suspension i could go on and on about this machine all day long that's how much i love it so you still have the nice shocks in the back also have that 
26 inch tire in the back as well and these are pretty sturdy if you check the suspension now check it out guys you have heard about independent suspensions you probably have seen a lot of mcpherson shocks in our shop especially with those massimo products this is no longer in that level guys it is the tti suspension yep you got it right so the whole back end can lift up so you can have more clearance if you go through any hurdles or if you do any jumps this can handle all of that so if you checked out short on that thousand cc this is what i meant when i was talking about actual off-road mudding action this thing literally pulls it on the back so the wheels are gonna come all the way outside the frame if you go through any rougher terrain it's not gonna be on the side if i show you let me show you so i'm not talking trash about any other brands that we carry i'm not talking trash about any other shocks it really depends on the uses so this one is more of a mixed version shocks so this shock whenever you go through hurdles or jumps it goes on the side which is totally fine if you're not using it for like uh, extreme abuse or anything like that now when i say it can handle those rougher jumps or anything like that please make sure not to abuse it guys but it can handle that and if you use it for any fun or extreme activities make sure to maintain it just the way you use it if not you're gonna have issues on no matter what machine it is you know you can literally have a, a 4x4 a 70 000 truck and still have issues if you don't do your maintenance so please keep up with those and you are not gonna have any any kind of issues on most of these machines 4x4 completely capable just make sure to uh, nurture it right to make sure it's like you know working fine for y'all now it has a towing hitch receiver right here so you can add a towing hitch in the back use it for pulling or maybe uh, working farming agriculture or anything like that now tracks trails going through rougher terrain you already know you're not gonna have any kind of issues especially with that tti suspension okay other than that you have an enormous muffler right here gigantic and it also has let me check it's on the other side this oxygen sensor oxygen sensor so it's completely rust free and it's pretty heavy duty then it's a complete shaft driven machine just like most of the 4x4s that we carry so you're not gonna see any kind of chain work you're not gonna have to worry about these getting stuck in the mud or anything like that and with that horsepower man you guys are not gonna have any complaints about this machine I can guarantee you that now still have the nicer enormous gigantic disc brakes in the back independent as well and I'm not gonna go over the suspension again that thing blew my mind now in the dash um, in a little while we're gonna go ahead and start this machine just to see what kind of features you have so you have two analog dials on the side this one is for rpms and you see how you can go up to 6500 without even yellow lining it we're not even talking about getting it red lined and speed wise all the way to 60 miles without red lining this thing 70 is yellow line and you can always override um, those fuel injection system and program it to go over 80 miles as well which i don't think should be necessary but if you wanted to do that hey you have it you know so before i turn it on i'm gonna sit on this machine man the back rest feels so comfortable okay without getting distracted still have the 4x4 switch easy throttle if you have some younger ones who's, who are gonna ride it or if you want to limit your speed you can always govern it down and then if you are like a speed junkie because i am i would definitely recommend getting it governed down so that you're not over speeding uh, in a way where it's not controllable you know now if you have plenty of land plenty of space um not too much traffic when you're riding it feel free to do like higher speed that's not going to be an issue so like i said any kind of um wear and tear or any kind of high performance comes with huge responsibility so just make sure you're maintaining it fine and if you're going fast because it can just make sure you're riding it safely you know 
it's not just about you just make sure people around you are not getting bothered at all either so make sure to ride it safely then this can be tagged out now most of the four wheelers uh, require different features so you can get a street legal this one actually already comes with your side lights uh, you just have to add those mirrors on uh, the x-wolf actually already comes with those still have the high beam winch control and all those extra nice features my horn usb charging port the cigarette lighter converter to a volt and all that features right there and it's an automated braking system and also i've noticed now if you push one of the brakes since these are interlined or interlock um, you don't need to press all the brakes at the same time so whenever i do this the foot brake comes up let me show you it automatically automatically pushes you upwards and once it once it's in park mode uh, like you don't need to park it or anything like that it automatically parks itself in any kinds of inclines so these are interlock braking system for high performance and easy easy uses now let's see you also have a nice back storage where you can put different stuff in and you can see there ha there's like a washer lining on the side so it's water resistant for the most part but just be careful whenever you take it in mud or anything like that make sure to do all your precautions like um like your skid plate snorkel kits um maintenance oil changes all, all, the, all of that it's pretty aggressive looking pretty attractive heavy duty easy to ride still automatic and on the best price in the market right now so we have different financing options on these uh, you can have as low as 550 credit score to have as low as zero down and easy payments very easy payments you can find different accessories on these things you can add gun racks in the front speakers in the back bazookas regular speakers any different kind of um, accessories that you want to add on it has all of those options available easily you don't have to fabricate anything you don't have to worry about not finding it it's not too too much of a long time to get it shipped or anything like that and we also offer nationwide shipping not just in the united states we've been happily doing that for over years now to mexico canada to some of the european countries now pretty much if your nation does not have a political situation going on like in cuba or russia we can get a ship to you it's gonna take some time you're gonna have to be a little bit patient or you can be early bird and order it now so we can get a ship to you as soon as possible and si hablamos espanol for any uh, Spanish speakers or anybody in Mexico watching this, please make sure to use those captions if you're uh, watching it from Europe or anything like that, because I know these things are pretty popular in Europe. Okay, so that's about for now. We're gonna turn it on, show you guys all the features on it, go over like the test drive videos, try to make some good uh, clips out of it, and feel free to reach us out. We're located in 2470 West Pioneer Parkway, Grand Prairie, Texas right in the heart of Dallas and you can call us at 817-805-0795 or 817-239-7515 we will make sure to ask any of answer any of your questions you can also leave us a comment in the section down below so we can discuss further about this unit and our website is simply our store name www.pioneerpassports.com um, you can place an order or to leave us your information so we can reach you out and we will work out the best numbers on these. So we're going to do a test drive video on this Pathcross 650. Uh, now before we do all, all of that videos and all, I'm going to go ahead and show you some features on the front cluster. So once you turn on the machine, you have a nice little dash right here. Uh, digital screen in the center that shows your um, wheel orientation if you're in 4x4 two-wheel drive or anything like that you have your nice fuel gauge speedometer also digital uh, you also have that in analog with your rpm and all the good features uh, we're right now right now we're like pretty 
short on gas and it's gonna show you like there's a fuel shortage on it if I switch it to four-wheel drive you can pretty much tell it's gonna indicate all of that also you do have a nice winch control starter button side lights hazard lights your kill switch a fully functioning horn and your lights right here you can also lock in all the wheels on this thing get it to an actual four-wheel drive if you're taking it on higher surfaces or anything like that and we did not get to see the lights on the video so I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you guys that as well so these are the lights these are pretty bright it's during daytime so we might not be able to see it as much okay, let's check it out so you have a halo style LED lights on the side and a full bright uh, light with the reflector in the front so those are the standard features uh, Kevin is gonna go ahead and test drive this uh, machine right here so let's check it out guys